So today we're going to be checking on our neighbor Jack. Jack is going to get modern on us. So he's got a stealth camper and right now it's all wired for just 110. Jack wants to go solar. So he's uh, got everything I believe that he needs to get started and he's going to talk us through what he's got and what he's doing and what's coming up next. I bought this Zamp Solar. It's made in Bend, Oregon. and. Uh, it was a closeout sale. I think I paid $100 for it. And uh, I think it retailed for $279. And uh, and then to mount it to the trailer, I couldn't find any aluminum Z. So I bought a um, one inch L brackets and I cut them, bolted them and it's all lock washered on. I didn't make this solid on the back side of the trailer so that because uh, it's going to create heat so uh, there's a little air escape on the back side of it. I'm going to mount this on the trailer. I, I got a thing about drilling holes on top of trailers. And so I bought the 3M VBH, very high bond, two-sided tape. And I, I've used it before. And uh, that's how we're going to mount it to the roof. And then we're going to put safety lanyards on it. So if some freak thing, it does come loose. The safety lanyards will be screwed there and then come out the side. And then they'll bolt onto the side in the trim in the top of the trailer. These are the safety lanyards that we're using. It's plastic coated stranded wire and copper lugs that and I use self tapping screws okay and these I'm installing so I'm going through both the frame of the solar panel and the framing, the attaching frame. I'm a believer in self-tapping screws. Did construction for 30 plus years and we use them. The next step is I'm going to drill through here to bring this out. And it'll come out here and then it'll attach to the side of the trailer. So Jack's got the cables installed. He's got a hole drilled. That's where the security cable is going to go through, attached to the side of the trailer. And he's doing that uh, just in case he's going down the road and that high bond tape loses, uh, loses it, its adhesive uh, properties and this thing wants to fly off, it's going to stay with the trailer and not fly into somebody's windshield behind him. So that's a good idea actually. And uh, yeah, so at least he'll protect his investment and won't cost any damage. Just taking the file and just to deburr where we drilled the hole because this is plastic coated and we don't want it to catch on any metal. And the reason I use plastic is I don't want it to scar up the side of the trailer. The crimper and then 
they're watertight sealed so you just use some heat and it seals up around it and it'll be a watertight connection Hey, you're a superstar. Am I supposed to talk? <laughs> okay. We're dry set right now. The tape is on the solar panel. And we got a center line there to mark it and one edge. So when we lift this up, we'll peel the uh, film off so that when we set it down, we'll press it in place. Then once it's all locked in place, then we do the safety lanyards and uh, she's ready to create power. All right, Jack's alternative, instead of drilling holes in the ceiling or just running wires everywhere, he has a nice little aluminum race that he runs his wires through. You want to uh, talk about it there, Jack? Okay, one inch aluminum tube. Took the hacksaw, cut my miters, and double VHB tape in here. Ran the wires through, and then made the bend and there's VHB tape to seal it against the solar panel mm -hmm. and down and I'm happy with the 45 there with a hacksaw <laughs> then on this end I got the caps for the tube and put the wire in uh, the clear tubing because the hump here and the, the uh, trim piece it wouldn't rise up and go make the bend so uh -huh. uh, this is how I'm gonna cap it off and this cap will go right here okay and then and you run that tubing in your uh, aluminum chase five or six inches Yep. Sweet. And it makes it nice, clean, water resistant. <clears throat> the tube going down the side, I drilled a couple of weep holes just in case we get water in there, but I'm not foreseeing much water. This is the wire chase coming down the side. And then we'll drill the hole here, put the grommet in to protect the wire going into the camper and walk away. Sweet. So that wire chase is going to come down here and it's going to shoot straight across. We drilled a hole and we have a grommet right here and then on our metal piece we also have an area that's large enough that it's going to fit around the grommet and seal on both sides. So we're going to run our wires through, run it in the inside and we'll get this stuck on. Okay, we've got our wire chase right here. Got the plastic caps and got it in clear plastic tubing so we can get over this hump right here. And then we ran it down here <coughs> and across where the battery compartment is going to be. So the wire is going in right about here. I wanted the wire to come out close to the center partition so uh, I'd have room to do go whichever way I wanted to go with all the different controllers on the battery. And here's the controller. We're going to mount it like this in this area here. Mm -hmm. 
and right now we're thinking of putting the battery right there. So we won't know that until the battery shows up and then the inverter, where are you going to put the inverter? What are you thinking uh, about? What are you thinking about there? We're thinking probably in here. Okay. And the wire will go out there to run to the uh, refrigerator and the switch panel. We're going to put the switch panel in here under the table mm -hmm. so that it's out of way and out of sight. Yeah. All right. Well, when that stuff arrives, we'll have to hook it up. Yes. Soon. Piece by piece. <laughs>